Hi, I'm Jill Ferris. This is Cooking for Bachelors. Wine pairings are very popular, but also what's becoming popular is beer pairings. So I invited Erica from BrooklynBrewShop.com to show us her beer making kit. She actually sells a beer making kit online so you can make beer at home. It's a very easy process and she's going to explain it to us. Hi Erica, thanks for coming Hi. on my show. Thanks for having me. Um, what people don't realize about making beer is that it is possible to do at home in very little space and with not a lot of work. And so today I brought for you our grapefruit honey ale kit and we have it in the first two stages already. The first stage, pretty much making oatmeal. Okay, well I'll let you put this down. <laughs> so that you can, okay, so. Show you, it, um, it just stays for an hour. So you just boil what's already in the bag? Yep. Um, just under boiling, like 155, sits there, doesn't do anything, don't even have to worry about it, stir it every now and again, check the temperature. Oh, now, how do you check the temperature? There's a thermometer included in the kit. There's a thermometer included in the kit. Okay, yeah. great. <laughs> okay. Oh. Like magic. I like magic. Okay, so it already <laughs> comes. All right, so, and do you need anything else besides what's in the kit? Um, all you need is a stock pot, a regular kitchen strainer, and a funnel. Okay. So you pretty much have this. All right, you could go out and buy a funnel if you want to make beer. It's worth it. It is. Okay. So continue explaining. So you let this sit for about an hour? Yep. And then after that, you pour it through a regular kitchen funnel okay. and add in a little bit more hot water to get it up to quantity. And that's just pulling all the sugar out of the grain, which is going to be your beer. Mmm. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, um, look at it. It's, uh, it's going on yeah. here. Okay. <laughs> so the second step is the boil. And you boil that liquid with the sugar in it um, for an hour. Add in hops. Add in some more sugars so that you get the alcohol content up. Because the more sugar, the more alcohol. More alcohol. So we like alcohol. Does, is the hops included? The hops are included and pre-measured out for you. This recipe features Amarillo hops, which are really citrusy and Columbus hops, which are your bittering hops, so it actually tastes like beer. Okay, we're hopping. Yeah. And, um, and how much alcohol is in this? How and does it really <laughs> yield? Yeah. This kit, the grapefruit honey, which um, is a lighter summery beer with a little bit of wheat in it, is still 5.5%, which um, to put in perspective, Guinness is 4%. So. Okay, <laughs> so it's worth it, right? It's getting right, it's getting better. Okay, yeah, good. So then um, it, after an hour it boils, you cool it down a little bit and then we're just going to transfer it into this jug, um, which is where the funnel comes in. And this is where it happens? Yes, this is where the magic happens. Okay, so you, you want to you do that now? Is that yeah. what you're going to do and show sure. how that happens? Okay. Would you like to do it into the sink or so yeah, I don't pour it everywhere? Well, I think it, looks, it also looks like it will be easier for you to yeah. handle here. I'll hold the funnel. Thank you. This is it. I think you guys can handle this, right? How much is your kit? It's um, $40 and includes the first supply of grain. And then the additional grain mixes are $12 each and come with the hops and yeast included. And so it ends up working to be about a dollar a beer because it makes just under 12, 12 ounce bottles. Now we're talking a mm -hmm. dollar a beer, five and a half percent alcohol. I know you want to get this, right? So how do, how do people find you and how do they get you? We know the dot com. Can you sell online directly? We do. Yep. We do uh, mail orders. And then we're also, if you're New York based, we're at the Brooklyn Flea on Saturdays and Sundays where you can come visit us. That's a fabulous flea market. It is. It is. I, I mean, actually met Erica there. So then what we do with this, uh, I'll remove your pot. Thank you. Um, and then we're just going to pitch in half a packet of yeast. These are what does all the oh. hard work. Yeah. And you just pitch half a packet in. Um, How and do you know it's half? You know. You know. That's fine. Okay. All right. Okay, that's good. More Again, no yeast. measuring. No, no measuring. All right. And then um, you just want to shake it up a little bit just to get those guys distributed. Okay. And then you slap that on and it will stay like that. Um, it ferments for two weeks and you transfer it into the bottle um, after two weeks and then it will carbonate naturally in the bottle like magic. What? Okay, so you mm. pour it into like like empty Just, beer yeah, bottles. Empty beer bottles. Um, so the ones weeks. with swing tops you can reuse forever, which and is really you, convenient. You don't have to come to the video to find the instructions. Everything comes with instructions already on oh, it. Oh, absolutely. You don't have and to memorize that. Where do you that. store this? Do you need to put it in your refrigerator? No. Um, that's the best part. Uh, cool, darker, better. Um, so, But underneath the kitchen cabinet, in a closet, out of the way, totally fine. Doesn't have to occupy prime refrigerator space. That's great. So, try mm -hmm. it. 
Brooklyn Brew Shop, and now we're going to cook some food that's actually going to be paired nicely with this beer. Oh yeah, we are smoking. Okay, look at that. Oh my goodness. I think we need a beer. Come on, come on in. You always need a beer. <laughs> Whoa, Mazel tov. Look at that. What kind of beer is this? This is the grapefruit honey ale. Grapefruit honey ale. There you go. Mmm. Okay. Who gets the honors? I I'm a bachelor. You made the steak. Oh, that is marvelous. <laughs> Food for a bachelor. There you go. That's a pairing. Thanks, Erica. Thank you.